Welcome back, traders. Thanks for joining me here today. In this short video, you will learn what patterns are all about in technical analysis. What are patterns in the market? A pattern is a shape within a price chart that helps to suggest what prices might do next, based on what they have done in the past. Patterns in the market can exist in two forms, which are long-term patterns and short-term patterns. Patterns that take a long period to go through the process of their formation are called long-term patterns. These patterns consist of a wide range of bars data that are commonly referred to as Western chart patterns. They are in relation to the time frame on which they are formed. However, a rule of thumb is that the higher the time frame a chart pattern forms, the more powerful such patterns become. And the lower the time frame a chart pattern forms, the less reliable it becomes. Common examples of long-term patterns are the head and shoulders, the inverse form of the upright head and shoulders is the inverted head and shoulders. The double tops, triple tops. The inverse forms of the tops formations are the double bottom, the triple bottom, the symmetrical triangle, ascending triangle, the descending triangle the channels, the flags, and other complex long-term patterns. These long-term patterns help to identify the structural formations of the market in conjunction with support and resistance levels. They also help to predict the future direction of price movement with price measurement objectives. While short-term patterns are patterns produced by a single bar of data or more, these short-term patterns can exist through the formation of bar charts or the Japanese candlesticks. Short-term patterns appear on all given time frames in the market and tend to generate more powerful signals on a higher time frame. Short-term patterns provide the following functions in the market. They show signs of potential strength or weakness in the market. Provision of entry signals or exit signals. Helps in trade management. Let's delve more into the long-term patterns. The first pattern we will examine is the head and shoulders pattern. As we can see on this chart, we have the head and shoulders in their upright form. Here's the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, and the neckline here. The upright pattern of the head and shoulder should appear at the high of a bullish trend. Whenever this structure occurs, it signals a potential reversal of the existing bullish trend into a bearish trend. The bearish breakout of the neckline here confirms the potential future direction. We can see the presence of high volume led to this bearish breakout of the neckline. In a structure whereby there isn't a decisive volume, it's better to wait for a retest to prove validation of the neckline as a new resistance or support level. But this is not 100% guaranteed because no trading system is infallible to the market. The measurement objective can be derived through the measurement of the distance from the head to the neckline, which is the support structure. Once this price move value is derived, then we can make an extension or replicate the measurement value of the distance downward. The measurement objective of the structure breakout becomes stronger if it overlaps areas of support on the trading chart or area of resistance. That is, if the structure formation is an inverted head and shoulders. Let's take a view on another example of long-term pattern formation. As we can see here, the pattern which occurred at this low swing here is a double bottom pattern. Price went ahead and broke the neck of the structure. 
the structure here was a resistance level of this pattern. We can see how the breakout led to a bullish rally. Taking the first breakout of a pattern is risk. It's better to ensure a strong volume breakout or a breakout accompanied by a swing to the breakout structure. The measurement objective can be derived through the measurement of the distance from the double bottom to the neckline, which is the resistance structure here. Once this price move value is derived, then we can make an extension or replicate the measurement value. The measurement objective of the structure breakout becomes stronger if it overlaps with areas of resistance on the trading chart. The same approach applies to a triple bottom formation. To trade the double top formation, we need to ensure price broke out of the neckline, which is the support structure. Once we figure out a well decisive volume breakout, we can anticipate a bearish move. Now let's execute a trade setup through the long term pattern strategy. As we can see here at this low swing, price is done carving an inverted head and shoulders. Also, there was a presence of the formation of a double bottom here. Here are the two bottoms. To take a buy trade as a reversal of this bearish trend, we need to see a strong bullish candlestick breakout. If there's a low volume breakout of this resistance structure, which is the neckline of this pattern, it's better to patiently wait for a retest of confirmation of broken level as new support for price. Okay, good. Price broke out with a strong bullish bar. Let's make an entry here. Stop loss below the low of the inverted right shoulder. Measurement objective from the inverted head to the broken neckline zone here. That's 80 pips. Now let's replicate this 80 pips upward from the neckline zone here. We can see this measurement objective aligns to past support level here. This level has a higher possibility to act as new resistance for price. The bulls moved price upward. More bulls stepped in. Our measurement objective level hit. We can close our trade or trail our profit at this measurement objective level. In the next video, I will educate you more about the short term pattern. Make sure you don't miss the next video.